All right. Link in the description, and you will see that I first off really didn't like this arc. Although really, I've milled out considerably, and also I'd only seen the first issue. And also, I, as I note, I was having a bad day and ended on insane laughter. I don't take that back. I think that was funny. But, again, I have mellowed out on it. I still would prefer it not to exist. We already had power ponies, though I'm of the opinion power ponies and daring don't can go soak their heads. At which point, I'd have been decidedly more okay with this arc existing. Now, before I get into some how I like the ending, and admittedly, I am kind of divided on the ending, but you know it. Heck with it. I'll go ahead and give it a good review. The one last criticism I really want to offer is... Okay, this is Twilight. I can understand she's well read. Heck, it's even referenced on her main character card in the game. But... Why does she know that... If she finishes the books again, if she redoes the stories, the books will be repaired and they go back home. Why does she know that and not the pods? I think the pods would be something that would stick out to me. I mean, this might be an issue of her being a book lover and therefore remembering things about books, but that, it just seems a little odd and plot convenient that she forgot that. If nothing else, if she just simply said... I can't, you know, more or less put it up to, there's information overload, I can think of so many things that would have had made pods. Okay, sure. But this is a minor gripe, but I'm a reviewer, that's kind of my job. So, I will grant it, while to some extent, largely because, again, I am contentious to the existence of this arc, I don't entirely like the ending, but I will admit... I can't say no to it either because of the lesson it gives. Just because somebody is not necessarily being nice means they're a bad guy. Sometimes you just gotta listen, because in the end, really, that's what happened. They listened to the bookworm, and poof, all the badness went away. I'd also, like it noted, I did like the fictional villains. Seeing their interactions was entertaining, their designs were alright. Especially the Queen and the uh, Voldemort Epixie. At least I'm guessing that's Voldemort from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter. Ha, take that disclaimers. But, yeah, I'm rather uninterested in it. I'm glad I don't have to read it again. But it wasn't really bad. Maybe I'll read it again. I don't know. 